Hey guys, and here we are back with another video review and today to take a look at this vacuum cleaner which is the AlphaWise X5. Before we move on to the results, in terms of operation we will need to uh, connect the docking station that comes included and one thing that I would like to suggest here for those of you guys that will use, just connect the docking station and use double side tape to put it uh, fixed on the wall or on the floor because the vacuum cleaner will uh, move the docking station around when it's trying to find or even when it's cleaning. And then once we have the docking station in place, just charge it for the first time and we are ready to go. Now, as I was saying, we can use the remote control included or we can use the app. Basically, uh, the app will give us the advantage on the scheduled tasks, which I can program the vacuum cleaner to clean at a certain day and at a certain time, which I cannot do with the remote control. So this is the advantage of the app. And of course, if I'm not home, if I go to work and I forget to schedule something, I can just press the app and it will make the vacuum cleaner work even if I'm not here. Now it has a few working modes, but I did find that the most useful, at least in my case, was the automatic mode or full auto and what it means is that it will zigzag or it will go randomly over the area of the house that we choose now i did perform three kinds of tests the first one was in terms of suction in terms of the cleaning itself and i did use three kinds of products some cereals rice and flour being of course the flour the hardest one to remove even with more powerful uh, vacuum cleaners and what I can say and I'll show you guys a few images as well is that it worked better than I was expecting it grabbed almost everything there was one grain of cereal that I saw that it was not grabbed and there was a little bit of flour in one area of the floor and as you guys may have the chance to see my floor has some black stripes and the flour on those black stripes was really difficult to remove but there was only one spot and one zero so did a great job in terms of cleaning up and picking up most of the things that I did. Now one thing that I would like to mention right over here is guys if you have steps or stairs be aware that it is really effective but it will fall and probably you already seen on the time lapse that I did perform on that hole and actually from the two or three times that it went to the steps one of which it did fell off the stairs so one thing in positive is that it fell off the stairs but it's still working right? so no issues now i would recommend that you use the uh, strip the magnetic strip that comes included if you are going to use it regularly near a step but there's also a positive thing to take out of this because it doesn't fail every single time actually i would say that 95 percent of the times it will see the step and go back but there will be a few that it will actually stop and usually the wheel just gets hanging over the step with no problems at all but as i said there was once that it fell off the stairs <laughs> Now in here the feedback is that in a clear area, either small or bigger, it will do a great job. I did went to my living room next to perform another test and here I didn't place anything on the floor. I just used the normal dust that everyone has and the normal things that will be on the floor. And what I can say is that as you guys can see, I've got a couch, I've got a living room table and so on and so forth, but I have space, enough space 
and it did work really well. By the way, before I forget, if you have drapes on your windows, lift those drapes because the vacuum will uh, pick up the drapes and roll them on the wheels, which will not be a good scenario because it will stop and that's about it. But in this scenario, it did work great. And actually one of the things that I did test out was the home feature when uh, the battery is low or even when we want him to go to uh, his spot or his docking station and actually did a great job. Most of the times went directly there and sometimes it went searching around where the docking station was but really happy to see that it's smart enough to find its own now but my favorite thing is what i'm going to mention right now which is the ability to remove the dust bin to uh, replace it with the water tank which we can use uh, to put some detergent to clean the floor or in my particular case where i see it more useful is to uh, put that treatment for wooden floors and then use it to wax the wooden floors which is awesome and it did a great job i did actually record the time lapse there and hopefully you guys will have the chance to see that in terms of result it actually works really well now one other thing that i would like to point out right over here is that if you have a lot of furniture like we do on our kids room which is not a lot of furniture but we're talking about two beds one nightstand and and one other stand then what happened quite a few times was that when the vacuum cleaner went to the side the right side it went and gets stuck right over there and i did went and pick it up and put it back in its place so that it could keep on working now it did wax the whole floor and the result was awesome but it could be faster it could waste less uh, treatment for the floor and i do believe that if we have a lot of furniture mm, then probably this will not be the best choice as it doesn't have a mapping feature of the floor and it will be guessing and it will be trapped in the corner a few times nonetheless the overall experience was nice but if you ask me hey robert who is this for i would say that this has to be for someone that has the patience and when i mean patience is that this is not something that if you want to clean the floor right now and if you press the button and if you look at him watching to clean the floor it will be a frustrating experience so if you are that kind of a person forget about it it's not for you on the other hand if you are someone that you can schedule this Thing right over here to clean up a certain area of the house while you are away then this will be certainly a good useful thing because at the end of the day when you return home that area will be cleaned even though if it was not efficient at 100% as we've seen on my kids bedroom one other thing is that although it's not really noisy it's not the kind of noise that we want to hear if we are on a living room for example watching a movie and hearing this thing going to one way and the other, it's not also pleasant. So I would say that it's something that we really need to use it when we're not at home. Also, the thing that I would find is that the most common area that I would use this is actually at the kitchen, which is where I'm using right now, which is a section that gets more dirt as less furniture and uh, we can leave it in the morning working. And then we, when we arrive home, the kitchen is more or less already cleaned up, which is great. And finally, we have to have in mind also that most of the times it works really well, but when it doesn't, it is really frustrating. So we need to be prepared for these scenarios. And once we get used to it, then if we can schedule and everything that I just mentioned, we can have a pleasant experience. And of course, if we want something more efficient, we will need to step up in terms of pricing and in terms of specifications for this kind of the vine and that is it guys hopefully this video was helpful in some way and if it was don't forget that usual thumbs up any questions that you still guys have let me know down below as always my name is Huerto George and I'll see you guys on the next one